Is your scooter running rough like this? I'll show you a few things you can try to get your scooter running like this. Today I'm going to do some troubleshooting on this scooter here, it's a 150cc scooter. It starts but doesn't want to idle, even after adjusting the idle, um, idle screw. So could be a few things. I have an extra CDI to try, sometimes um, those have issues until they're warmed up. Uh, we might have to check the carburetor, um, and uh, we might also have the auto enricher might have gone bad in the carburetor, which provides the right amount of fuel once the scooter is warmed up. So I'll start it up now and uh, I'll show you what's going on with it. So the first thing I'm going to try is going to be to put a new CDI in. So I have just a generic, I think it was maybe $9, I'll have to find the link. I already took the bolts out. So the first thing you got to do, this is just the scooter, so anything, every scooter is different. This plate comes out, then this bolt comes out. And then, this bolt comes out, and then it pops out. So that reveals the CDI. So mine is sitting right here. Um, I don't know whether it's still good or not. What thing we can do is test to see if this light comes on at the beginning. Um, but I think what we'll do is just try it. Right here, there's a little red light. We'll fire it up and see if that's lighting up. like it is. We'll try a new one anyway. Okay. And this is a six pin. See that matches up there, but it's just on the unit. We'll try this out. And this is why it's so good to have the CDIs with you because that took me five seconds. So, let's try this now. Let's see if it'll even start.
the other one was fine. So we'll put that one back in and keep this one as an emergency. All right, so the CDI didn't work. Um, I'm starting to think it's maybe something with the carburetor um, or a rough start before it's warmed up is indicative of valves that are out of spec. So I did the valves probably 800 miles ago, but I have read a lot of stuff about them coming out of spec pretty easily and often. So that could be a possibility. I don't want it to be because, you know, it's kind of involved, but we'll see. So now I'm going to take the seat off. There's two bolts in the bottom here, bad light, and two bolts up top here, and this whole section from here up here comes off. All right, let's take a look in here. So it's only getting fuel on throttle and it could be something with the carburetor. So we'll check fuel lines and vacuum lines and Make sure everything is connected. Let's see, do we see any fuel leaking anywhere? Okay. Don't see anything. That looks a little melted. Hmm. Okay. All right, so something I'm gonna look at first is the spark plug. Now, the spark plug is down here. It was super loose. I don't really think it would have something to do with it. Always good to check. So this, uh, it's a standard spark plug, takes the 5 8 deep well plug. Oh yeah, it was only hand tight. So let's pull it out. Maybe. Trying to do some good light here. I'd be outside, but it is pouring today. All right, let's check. Holy moly. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Look at this. There is oil and it is soaked in gas. So, it could be flooded from when I was trying to start it, but that is, I don't know, it almost means like an intermittent spark. Let's uh, clean it off and see if it starts any better. All right, so I think I found the problem. If you look inside here, this thing is cracked. This is the coil. Um, and watch this. Hold on. And watch this. Yeah, that was the internals falling out. And there's pieces of spring in here. Yeah, I gotta order a new coil. Um, I don't know if it sent enough juice to even fire the plug when it starts out. Um, but then when I give it, it sends more spark. Um, I don't know. We'll see if that see if that helps. I'm gonna order one before I go any further. Alright guys. 
Got my package in the mail. Got our new coil. You can see inside there, it looks intact. I didn't have any of that inside the orange one I have on here. So what we're gonna do today, is we're gonna take that coil off and put the new one in. I decided not to put this part in the video because I have another video on attaching the coil. Basically there's two connections inside the coil pack and one bolt holding it on. That's for my scooter. I'm assuming it's the same for others. Um, if you need to, go ahead and watch that video. If not, you should be able to figure it out. Um, just take the old coil out, take a look at it, and uh, you should be able to, to get it back together. And uh, the other side just plugs onto the end of the spark plug, uh, right where you pulled it out from. All right, we got the new ignition coil in. Uh, we're gonna test it out just to see if maybe that was the issue. And if not, then it's definitely gonna be a valve adjustment. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. So it's looking like a valve job. Um, I do have another video on that, so I'm not gonna record a whole video, but I will show you uh, the results after I do it. We'll see, if, we'll see what's going on. Um, so, check back with you in a little bit. All right, the valves are adjusted. Um, I haven't started it yet, so you're seeing the raw footage after uh, adjusting the valves. The exhaust valve was super tight so it wasn't letting any exhaust get out so that could be a problem um, and I also found my fuel filter was leaking ever so slightly right there's a crack in the bottom of that and that could cause a it getting air in the line not letting enough fuel probably not the issue but it's good to fix since I have it apart all right, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Okay, back in the garage. Um, as you saw, the scooter did not start. Um, it was still doing the same thing. So I assumed now it's the dreaded carburetor. After doing the valves, after doing the CDI, after the ignition coil, spark plug it's time to check the carburetor so here is a GY6 carburetor the once it's taken apart this is how it sits in the motorcycle when <clears throat> you're looking for a fuel issue so you want to check your slide, make sure it makes a suction. It 
Sounds good. Um, so then you're gonna take these four bolts out. Let me, let me backtrack a little bit. Before you empty this, they're all a little different, but you wanna empty the float bowl with the drain plug. Um, sometimes these have a long tube on them and you can drain it back into your fuel tank or into some a disposable tank or something. Anyways, you take these, once that's drained, you take these four bolts out here and here, and then you'll take this off. I already took it apart. Pull this out, there's gonna be a little needle in there that's attached to this, right here. When the carburetor sits like this, so, if you imagine this sitting in the motorcycle, and the float sitting in here, upside down, it'll be like that. So as it fills up, this goes up and pushes that needle up in there to pl uh, block off the fuel supply. So when this is full, you don't need any more fuel. As you are using the throttle and using up gas, this float will drop down and uh, allow gas to fill the float bowl back up and then it just keeps going like this. So this is where I found the issue. I thought it was going to be a pilot jet, which would be this one inside here, which would be your idle jet. Here's your main jet. So I pulled them out. They were uh, fine. And I didn't even notice until I really looked at it. I don't know if you can, how well you can see this. There you go. This is full of gas. This is supposed to be sealed totally shut. So it floats because there's air in there. So I assume that had to be my problem. So what I did was, luckily I had a spare carburetor. I took the float out of the other carburetor. It was actually this carburetor and I put it in the scooter in my new carburetor. And um, put it all back together. And uh, sure enough, it runs fine now. So what was happening as this, get a little better light here, as this float would fill up, it would stay down, um, allowing more and more gas to fill into the float bowl, um, basically flooding the engine. Because there was no air in those floats, like it it would not raise up to plug this hole here to let the fuel in. So that would explain why when you're really cranking on the throttle that the engine runs. Um, and it also explains why at idle it just dies. It fl kind of floods out and it actually makes a lot of smoke because there's a ton of excess fuel burning off. Um, so that's what my issue ended up being. You may find the um, may, you may find the solution in a different step. You might have a bad coil, you might have... These things are a little finicky, um, but they're not real hard to work on. And uh, if you have a basic set of tools, you can usually troubleshoot and find the issue. Um, I'll go ahead and start it up for you so you can hear what it sounds like, when it, how it's really supposed to sound, and how easily it starts up.